The um, interface of the contemplative traditions with science is not just with neuroscience per se, but mm -hmm. also involves the regulation of the genome. Mm -hmm. uh, and uh, there's every reason to believe that contemplative practices will uh, alter um, epigenetic mm. uh, information and uh, epigenetic regulation and by so doing it will change our gene expression. What humans um, have been led to do in part as a byproduct of this massive expanse of the prefrontal cortex um, is to worry about the future mm -hmm. and ruminate about the past. Mm -hmm. The opportunity with contemplative practice uh, is uh, to basically um, uh, retool the brain in a certain kind of way so that um, the, uh, the machinery which is unique to humans and um, which enables us to, uh, to do things that other species can't do, uh, instead of uh, devoting that machinery to the creation of suffering, we can devote that machinery uh, to the cultivation of positive qualities. His Holiness uh, said to me that uh, he challenged me and he said, you know, you guys have been using the tools of modern neuroscience to study qualities like disgust and fear and anxiety. Um, why can't you use those same tools to study kindness and compassion?